Welcome back tonight. Many in Southeast Michigan's Arab American community say they're being targeted because of their ethnicity. The issue is their bank accounts seem to be closed and no one can tell them why. Now this has been going on for years. As a matter of fact, there was a class action lawsuit to try to settle this issue. It was subsequently dismissed. Those affected say they've been left with more questions than answers. And today they spoke with seven investigator Jonathan Carlson. In a small room at the Arab American Civil Rights League in Dearborn, we meet two longtime Michiganders who say they recently were made to feel anywhere but home. Very shocked. Is how this man felt when he got a letter from Huntington Bank saying he had five days to clear out his account before it would be closed. The party store owner had to find a faraway independent bank to accept his business. Same story when you talk to Hussam Bashi, who's been in the U.S. since he was a child. I opened a banking account for my mother and father-in-law. Uh, you know, with, with me being a co-signer so I could conduct their business because they're elderly. A few days later, they sent a letter. They said we're closing the accounts. So. He gave us what he says is a copy of a letter from another bank. It reads in part, we no longer are able to maintain our banking relationship with you. So basically telling them, take your money and go somewhere else. Nabi Ayad filed a class action lawsuit in federal court on behalf of what he now says has grown to at least four banks and dozens of plaintiffs. We have doctors, we have engineers, we have pharmacists. When the customer inquires as to why my bank account is being closed, they literally tell them, we don't have to tell you. The case was recently thrown out of court, Ayad is appealing. It's really a blanket type discriminatory action against Middle Eastern Americans in Southeastern Michigan. Ahmad Shabani, chairman of the American Arab Chamber of Commerce, agrees the problem is widespread. It is a big concern for us as, as, a, as a business community. So um, it hasn't stopped. It continues to, you know, to happen. So what would you like to say to these banks that are sending these letters? Uh, well, instead of sending this one that says you don't have to say anything to anyone, send another one that says, hey, you know, this is the problem. Huntington Bank is the only one to be sued so far. But before you think there's resentment against banks in the community, those plaintiffs say the local branches have been supportive. It's the headquarters that are sending those letters. When we visited a Huntington Bank branch in Dearborn to see if the manager wanted to talk, she told us to call corporate. When we did, a spokesman told us the letters have, quote, nothing to do with the nationality or religious affiliations of our customers. When asked if the plaintiffs might have dealings that could get the attention of the U.S. government, Ayad said, Can't blame it on uh, wire transfers because most, most of our clients have not wire transferred overseas. This case may soon get some powerful attention. The Arab American Civil Rights League says they've spoken to the governor and federal lawmakers to try and get answers. In Dearborn, Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News.